Hey guys, uh, that was a quick part three on the video. This is part four. Like I said, it found 1,488 infections. Uh, it cleaned 1,488. Total scan time, 39 minutes, 54 seconds. I'll hit finish and reboot. And uh, when it reboots, um, I'll get into uh, some of the firewall aspects of PC tools, internet security, and we'll also see how the PC is working. Since we've done a full scan, um, they they have a pretty high reputation reputation in my mind of of cleaning up everything. So I'm hoping um, that this thing is pretty much cleaned. Uh, go ahead and let this thing boot up real quick. Okay, booted right into Windows. Of course, we get these uh, these Windows errors because Windows cannot find this particular piece of malware. Let's see how long it takes here to start up. It's 8:28 p.m. I'm so excited! I forgot that uh, tonight is the big old time shift, and we get an hour back such a bonus for me. I can see that all the uh, Halloween movies are still on the TV. Should be some good watching tonight. Okay, internet security started to ride up. So far I don't have any fake alerts down here or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and kick on my network card. See if we get any uh, pop-unders or pop-ups, whatever. Network cards start up just fine. I'm telling you, I like I said earlier in, earlier in this review, I tested out probably over a dozen products. Two of them were really, really nice, and two, and the rest of them pretty much sucked. I couldn't believe it, really. Still starting up here. It's 829. Really, I mean, the PC's pretty much started. The hard drive activity light down here, it's, it's kind of flashing off and on. It's pretty much idle. So, uh... We have no no rogue uh, rogue stuff here. My desktop's back to normal. If I open up uh, Internet Explorer, let's see what we got. I'm gonna switch our home page up. We're going to search for a couple of uh, common, just a, com a couple of common queries like antivirus and a few other things here. Let's go to Google. And let's search for antivirus. make sure what I'm testing here is basically I, I do not want to get redirected anywhere so I get to I, I click on the AVG site it brings me right to AVG 
not being redirected. If I click on the McAfee site, I go right to McAfee. Let's try another uh, query. Search for combo fix. Click on the first combo fix link. I get right to it. Browser's working perfectly. If I go to Google, search for Facebook, click on Facebook, it takes me right to Facebook. So, from what I can see so far, PC Tools with Internet Security, PC Tools Internet Security is just as awesome, if not more, because you have things like the firewall, which you can control different processes. You also have uh, Threat Fire. Threat Fire is uh, a behavioral based um, anti malware uh, program, also known as whitelisting. Um, Threat Fire is kind of one of the ones I'm testing and using. I've actually used it to stop USB worms, uh, worms that travel across USB sticks. Use it pretty successfully there. So let's go ahead and um, let me pause the video real quick to see what my time is. I forgot to check. Hang on a second. All right, 641. So i got to probably start another video here. Let's see. I click on the firewall. want that. Firewall, if you click on it, nothing really happens, but if you edit your firewall settings, you can take a look at it. So I get to see what exactly is running right now on my PC. And to me, right off the bat, everything looks pretty much normal. I can see a lot of my PC tools processes, some Java stuff, there's threat fire. Like I said, that's a whitelisting anti malware application. You can read more about whitelisting. It's pretty new, pretty new technology. It's probably the future, I would say. Right now it sucks in my opinion. I've tested out every whitelisting agent out there and if you put them on a box on their own, they don't do anything. It's just they suck. <clears throat> so, activity, just normal, typical system stuff. Um, you could get uh, very, very detailed, or, or you can create these crazy rules with the uh, firewall, but I am not going to be able to do that in this, this uh, video, but yeah, you can pretty much control anything coming in or out of your PC. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start another video. Uh, this will be the final video for uh, PC Tools Internet Security Version 6. We'll wrap this thing up in a sec.